Welcome to the video. In this video, we will learn about the classification of zodiac signs. We are going to learn about the movable, fixed and dual signs. They are also known as Chara, Stira and Obey Rashis. I will also explain how these are used in birth chart prediction. So, please watch the full video and subscribe to the channel by pressing the bell button and the subscribe button. If you don't know the basics of Vedic Astrology and if you want to learn the basics first, please go to the link below in the description box and watch the two part video, learn Vedic Astrology in one day and also the Vimshotri Dasha videos. You can also find the link at the top of the screen. There are different ways in which the 12 zodiac signs are classified. The most common method of classifying the zodiac sign are as movable, fixed and dual. This classification is based on the nature as well as the movement associated with each zodiac sign. In Vedic Astrology, the movable signs are also called as Chara Rashis. The fixed signs are also called as Stira Rashis. And finally, the dual signs are also called as Ubay Rashis. Now look at the screen. On the left side, you will find all the 12 zodiac signs. On the right side, you will find how each of these zodiac signs are being classified. The movable signs are Aries, Cancer, Libra and Capricorn. These four signs are also called as Chara Rashis. Stira Rashis, also called the fixed signs, are Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius. The Ube Rashis, also called as dual signs, are Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius and Pisces. In the sequence of the 12 zodiac signs, the classification also follows a similar pattern. The first three zodiac signs are movable, fixed and dual. The next three signs are again movable, fixed and dual. The next three signs are again movable, fixed and dual. And finally the last three signs are movable, fixed and dual. When we use the South Indian birth chart, it's very easy to identify the movable, fixed and dual signs. As you can see here, it's very easy to identify the dual signs, movable signs and fixed signs in the South Indian chart. In this South Indian style birth chart, you will find the dual signs occupying the four corners. The signs which are following the dual signs are movable signs. The movable signs are followed by fixed signs, which in turn precede the dual signs. Now, let's see how movable signs behave. Aries, Cancer, Libra and Capricorn are movable signs, also called Chararashi. These signs behave like rapidly moving water. Anything related to these four signs behave like a moving water and they keep moving forward. In other words, they keep changing their state. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius are fixed signs, also known as Stira Rashi. Anything represented by these four signs will always remain constant and it will never change their state. These four signs behave like a calm and still water, just like you find in ponds. The remaining four signs of Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius and Pisces are dual signs, also known as Ubaya Rashis. These dual signs have the characteristics of both movable signs as well as fixed signs. This system of classification has so many applications in the prediction of birth chart. I will give you a few examples. The most important application is to find out whether a person will live in the same place or will move to different locations at different points of time. 
For this, you need to know the nature of the rising sign or the ascendant, also called the lagna. If a person's lagna or ascendant is in a mobile sign, that person will live in different places at different points of time. Most of those people will settle down in places which are far away from their birthplace. Usually such people settle down in different cities or in a different state or even in a different country. If a person's lagna or ascendant is in a fixed sign, that person will live in the same place where that person was born. Usually such people tend to settle down in the same city or in a nearby city. If a person's lagna or rising ascendant is in a dual sign, these people will tend to live in a far off place for a few years before returning back to their place of origin. Similarly, you can use the same principle to predict the place of your future spouse. If the lord of the seventh house from your lagna or rising sign is in a movable sign, then you will find your spouse from a far off location. If the lord of the seventh house from your lagna or rising sign is in a fixed sign, then you will find your spouse from a nearby place. If the lord of the seventh house from the lagna or rising ascendant is in a dual sign, you will find your spouse from a place which is neither too far nor too close to your own place. The next application of this classification is the calculation of a person's lifespan. But I should warn you, there is no clear-cut fixed formula in astrology to calculate a person's lifespan. Even though there are so many astrological theories to calculate a person's lifespan, still God has made it so difficult to calculate even for the most talented expert astrologers. Now I will explain all this in an example chart. Before I show you the example chart, I have a small request. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel by pressing the subscribe button and the bell button below. You can learn astrology very easily by subscribing to this channel. Now we have an example chart of a female. This lady was born in Saudi Arabia on 2nd June 1997 at evening 16.45 pm. She was born in Saudi Arabia because her parents were working there. After spending a few years of her childhood in Saudi Arabia, this lady had returned back to her home country. Now look at her lagna or rising ascendant. She is born in Tula Lagna or Libra Rising Ascendant, which itself is a movable sign. This is the reason why she is born in one country but lives in another country. Now look at the seventh lord from Lagna or Rising Ascendant. This lady was married to her cousin in 2019. From Libra Ascendant or Tula Lagna, Mars is the lord of the seventh house which signifies her spouse. Now this planet Mars is in the sign of Leo, which itself is a fixed sign, also called Stira Rashi. As a result, she did not have to travel too far to find her spouse. Actually, the cousin whom she got married to was living in the same city where she was also living. Then a person's lifespan can be roughly calculated by looking at the sign where the 1st Lord and the 8th Lord are situated. But I am reminding you once again. Even though there are so many methods to calculate the lifespan, for each person, one method or the other matches. Unfortunately, in astrology, there is no standard method which is applicable for everyone. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel by clicking the bell button and the subscribe button below.